And on this side of the map, this patch. <sighs> right, well, what am I going to do with my HE? Find a cruiser. Probably like a hipper. Gunners are searching what am I going to do? Try and hide targets. behind you. Oh, I get one shot by Maria's constantly. Mood. Oh, there's fucking seeds in my keyboard. How the fuck did that happen? Cat. No, I'll get them out later. It's only really a urgent problem if they're like around the wasp. Hmm. That's a nice skin on this Varusha love to my right. Is that the the event? Yeah, that's the event skin. Destroy the target. I'm gonna shoot that Baltimore. And I'm about to take a salvo from a Maria, I think. No. <coughs> Unless like it's this hipper thought. that's aiming it. Well, it straddled the hipper, and in the period of time it took the shells to get here, it's fired another salvo. Oh, the, oh, the hipper. I see, the Maria can't have done that. Oh, no, the Maria fired another salvo. Oh, he doesn't have like a 34 second flight time. Don't ask me. Yeah, the second salvo just lopped the hipper. <clears throat> oh, yay. I got like three hits. I oranged a fuel tank. We have a guy in a G5 who decided to spawn out here, or accidentally got screwed with spawning here, one of the two. I'm just figured out I can clean these seeds out my keyboard hmm. between shots. Oh, yay. I undershot this stupid thing by a good hundred yards or so, and I successfully managed to black the, the bulge of a Mikuma behind it. Well, the US shell's just terrible. No, is the thing. Like in game. Yes, is the thing. Because <laughs> I assume they're not supposed to be terrible in real life. Well, to be fair, pre-1916 shells were designed for angles of impact of like 15 degrees or something and would just shatter badly on things that they were that were more oblique than that. But, you know, Gaijin doesn't care about that sort of thing. They just make them suck because they're not Russian shells, apparently. Do they just have, like, better access to Russian data or something? That's I why it's so widely I different. I don't know, because the Russian data I've seen in Russian says that the Russian shells are overperforming. Right? That 1911 SAP shell was designed to penetrate one half of its caliber. Okay. I six inches, not fifteen. And <coughs> the fifth and I should state that's six inches, and then the shell explodes. The fragments, it says, would penetrate through fifteen inches. How can a fragment pen fifteen inches? I don't know. A as in, like. The shell hits a 15 inch plate and penetrates far enough into it that when it detonates the fragments travel through 15 oh, yeah, okay. up to 15 inches of steel, inclusive. I don't think HE against this Baltimore is doing much. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I just need to hit the turrets. Try a better shot. There is also the issue that it you know how it blacks the turrets that aren't pointing at the target? Hmm. It still fires them anyway! Only if they're like, 
close to the angle. If by close you mean 20 degrees to the right of it, sure. That's the reason I keep getting groupings that are twice the length of a sh cruiser. Who have we acquired? I have a guess, but I'm not looking. I am now looking. Someone very quiet too, I can't it's hear. It's a shadow. Not that quiet. Who is, yes, very quiet. Don't worry, I'm turning you up. I'm expecting you to be quiet because it's like 4 o'clock in the morning over there. Yeah. Games are bad I'd be turning you up. Why am I so quiet? I don't know. I've just put you up to 200 and now you're audible. Stop working again. We need to fix it again. Hmm, that's possible. It's so irritating. Alright, I'm assuming that made no difference. Uh, basically, no. Okay, that's a Poltava, not a Maria. So I should at least be able to do something about it, maybe. I'm assuming that also made no difference. No, nope, that's louder. Just yeah, that's better. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Turning you down. Yeah. I'll get this seed out. The trick is having issues with the seed spreading everywhere. Well... <coughs> what? Oh, oh, oh. Kind of bloody it's going to need a little more context. No, Ooh. no context. I just bapped to Baltimore when I was aiming at a... Poltava. Okay. Nice. Huh. The, there's a Russian premium cruiser just like straight off your starboard trip. You could probably obliterate it if you really just... I've not really been paying attention, to be honest. It's been like up firing a shot. Was naval as bad as we thought this update? Oh. Yeah. That sounds like a yes. It's got all of the bad points of 2.5 plus some of the bad points of uh, 2.7. It's not all bad. It's 99% bad. Yeah, I've been having that. Oh fuck you! Fuck you, you stupid fucking seed! I dropped it back into the keyboard. <laughs> what are you doing with a seed? Got, there's a seed in my keyboard and I've been trying to get it out. Dear Liza, dear Liza. Yeah, it's not all bad. The, um... Oh, I'm on fire. Name uh, one thing improved from last update. Coastal frigates, like, work now. Explain why. Well, like, because their guns they're actually damage stuff. Why are they overpowered? Because now they can murder cruisers again by just spraying it with a 40 mil. No, I'm thinking more the uh, the like three inch guns and the 4.5 inch guns can actually hurt destroyers. Uh, Those last yes, patch, they just fucking couldn't. The three inch guns that were specifically abandoned for anti destroyer work because they sucked. Yeah, they're, they're not the best, but they can at least hurt it. And I the mean, four and a half patch, inch gun, they were just immune. The four and a half inch gun, which was pretty terrible for anti destroyer work, because in the anti surface to anti air prop sort of balance. Oh, I hit a turret on that Poltava. Maybe it'll do something. Am I not going to bed? <clears throat> I should be going to bed. You go should bed, go to then. bed, yes. Yet yeah, here I am, not going to bed. Maybe I should let the flood go. Maybe Battle we'll cruiser. Fire. Maybe I'll hurt that if I hit it. When do we actually get Alaska? Huh. Fuck knows. I just want Alaska. <laughs> Let's see, that looks German to me. Invincible doesn't have a forward torpedo tube, does it? Uh... I don't think it's got a forward. That's a Vondertan with the forward. Has it got a little notch yes. on the front of it? Yeah, that's Vondertan. That's what I figured because I... Dreadnoughts, I just want the leaders. Eh. I'm actually excited for the standards because they seem kind of neat. But, um... <clears throat> that said, having effectively the same ship for four patches is going to get kind of irritating. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, hello. There's a Mogami in front of me. Where are you? Oh, oh, oh! 
when does the standard start, start to apply? The I don't actually thing. know which ones are referred to as the standard. Yeah. From Nevada until basically 1920, Sodak. Start rotating. How's this down? Yeah, until they I actually started it. making better battle missions <clears throat> again. I'll put a round in with well, forward turrets. They did make better ones, is the thing. I, I'd prefer if you put a round in his torpedo launcher since he's dumping fish at me, but. I don't see how he's going to expect to hit me when there's an island in the way, but. Well, you know. for a good many years they just stopped making ships, right? So, well, of battle standard, ships, I mean. Okay. It, so, Wyoming, for example, he's is. fish at me, fuck. Battleship 1910, I think? Texas, 19, uh, Texas and New York, 1911, and then Nevada is 19. Well, yeah, yeah, they kept making ships for about 10 years, and they stopped making ships for about 20 years. Well, that's because they put themselves into a position where they had no choice in that matter. Well, um, yeah, I know, I'm not saying, why didn't they do it? Man, they're so stupid, I'm just saying. Oh, hell. Like, they just didn't. The Poltava has decided it's going to ripple fire me to death now. do not care for the standards whatsoever, though. I like the standards. They got some nice upgrades, and they are pretty decent looking ships most of the time. Not like what Wargaming made up as the continuation of the standards. God, those are hideous. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to tank one of well, them. I mean, most everything Wargaming comes up with is hideous. It's gonna hurt. That's true, like those yo tanks or whatever Ow. the hell they're supposed to be. You've seen let's, those, right? Let's not even go with the Super Size Me New Mexico. What? They made it like a New Mexico or something that's just extra fat with like twin 18 inch guns. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got his forward turret. Well, New Mexico's Long with twin 18s would basically just be the Colorados, but. No, Colorado's twin 16s. He died yeah. to a bot Emden. Yeah, they're all way 18s. Hold up. <laughs> An Emden yeah, apparently detonated a Mogami's torpedoes. Oh yeah, because everything detonates again. Yeah. Man, didn't you Except miss that? Except Russians. Wait, what? Octo or Paris Revol Paris Commune is the most ta tanky ship in the game at the moment. And I'm presently bow tanking into a Poltava, which means I'm going to die because Gaijin insisted on putting a deck high hole in the front of Wyoming Citadel. That torpedo <clears throat> took out a turret. So I'm presently taking damage to my rear turrets from shots coming through the front. Russians have the most tanky battleships? What? I mean, the. They can single shot each other. Well, yeah, but Paris. you can't kill them with anything else. I thought the best battleship was supposed to be the Italian one. No, they literally just one-upped it by making a Poltava with extra-wide torpedo bulges and AA that works better than a Baltimore. Hey, the Dante can't be the best. It's 6-3. <coughs> AA that works better than a Baltimore? Excuse me, what? I'm one of the dreads? Oh, the Pittsburgh's better it's than It's a Baltimore. 1941 refit. Uh, <coughs> I would honestly still expect Baltimore to have better AA, but... Well, I'm if they made Baltimore's AA work at a range of greater than four kilometers, it would help. Oh, so it's arbitrary range limits. Arbitrary range limits, so your five-inch guns which are intended to kill planes ten kilometers away can't keep up with the rate of closure. Very cool. Did I mention this Poltava? Yeah, I've got oh, you two look engines bit, down. You look a bit warm. Two engines down and one fire. <clears throat> I'm hoping to flood more so that the fires go out. That's the stage I'm at, Jor. Unfortunately, counter flooding doesn't work. I mean, and I've only got HE shells, so I'm not sure how much use I'd be to you. No, actually, oh. mild curiosity about counter flooding. When they do it, do they do it in a way that's intentionally easier to repair? Counter flooding is literally just opening valves in the side of the ship. Can you force that water out? Do they have the oh, system you have pumps, that? Yeah. But well, yeah. I guess if you can seal the hole, then there's no reason you can't just pump it out. 
Well, yeah, but counter flooding, you were literally flooding non damaged compartments. Yeah, if you've got a big leak on one side, you leak in equal water on the other yeah, side. Yeah, I don't know why. I never thought about the fact that they would have pumps there, and I was just like, oh, they counter flooded, so they just put a hole in the other. That whole, that whole no. behind you know, I never really thought that much about counter flooding, so my brain just kind of went with the monkey way of doing it. Oh, it is just kind that. of funny that that is kind of why Musashi took so long to sink. <laughs> Wait, what? Musashi it... took like twice as many bombs and torpedoes to sink as Yamato because the planes tacking her went for the right side oh, and yeah, went yeah, for the yeah, left yeah. side. Right. I and now I need to that. turn you down because you're actually at a good volume again. What? I haven't changed anything. I don't know, I think you've just found your voice. <laughs> okay. What have we got around this corner, John? Um, which corner? There's a there's a Helena there, there's a Helena and a Baltimore there. Um, I'm just being set on fire by 6 inch spam. Getting pounded by 6 inches. 15 of them at once. Oof. And every oh, single oh, salvo, oh, I'm on fire. Ship. Should I shoot the cargo ship or should I shoot the Baltimore? Do what you feel is right, of course. If you're playing encounter, pretty much always the answer is cargo ship. I want to shoot the cargo ship. I think the Baltimore's going to face tank. Helena set me on fire at 1553. At 1617, Helena set me on fire. At 1626, Helena set me on fire. Every damn Battle salvo. Battle of the fire meta. My reload That's the whole is 72 reason I quit World Warships. I'm about to get bombed to death by that Russian. Maybe he'll go for me. No, he's dropped already. I hear it. It doesn't even have to touch me. The bomb just has to... Oh, look at that. It landed straight on my turret. And the entire ship exploded. It didn't have to touch you, but it did. Yeah. That's the issue. <clears throat> Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. <sighs> All right. One to think more. The fires will go out. Wait, is my B turret not firing because I'm flooded? <clears throat> Maybe I should repair my flooding then. Well, that was a misclick. Oh yeah, it was. I was so down by the nose, my second turret armor room must have been flooded. Because obviously it just no bulkheads to stop the water crossing. Yeah, and... You're nice yeah. with that compartment flooding, but I don't know. Who it'd knows nice what the fuck that'd do to the servers. Well, it'd be nice if magazines actually, you know, function properly. I don't imagine compartment flooding would be that bad compared to a lot of the other systems they've implemented. Yeah, but every time I think, it's oh, it probably wouldn't be that bad. I remember how complicated fucking programming is. Yeah, but these be. are like professional developers. <laughs> I mean, they get paid, so regardless of how bad a job they do, they're professional developers. Oh, the fire went wow, out! that was god awful on my part. Quick, repair. Repair everything. Yeah, before you get set on fire by the Baltimore and two Helenas that are going to start laying into you instantly. Such a monkey. Yeah, Wyoming's armor modeling is just off in so many ways. Stop preparing. 
turrets back, I don't need the crew. If I had any armor piercing ability at all, I'd be able to murder this vault. What's this pissing me? I'm assuming it's a Helena, judging from the sheer amounts of shells coming in. One hundred tickets ahead. Okay. And back on fire again. Oh fuck! That's an enemy. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Oh, that guy. That's probably gonna miss completely and horribly and I just I completely destroyed his front turret. Ah, victory is near. Hmm. No, no. The one thing H E can murder. Everything that Wyoming can't. Oh wait, wait, what's that? That's a Vondertan. Uh where's a Vondertan weak? Um Try the rear magazine. Oh, yeah, Shadow. I did three builds earlier and I got a second Shima. E. Still no Katsuragi. I don't care about any of the ships, and I have two Shimas. And I'm a collection type. Collector, that's the word, or a completionist, I suppose. I mean, I tend to be that, but in a game where that's not really an option, then I'm gonna care about the ones that I'm gonna focus on the ones I actually care about, and I really mm. don't care about any of them. Here comes a plane. Not enough crew. Uh, well, the plane just killed itself. And then Avonda Town got you. Get a hit into a cargo ship, so that might have murdered it. Okay, let's come back in the Maria. Where's this Varoshalov? Oh, it's the guy I'm shooting at. Right. Because, you know, a Varoshalov is going to kill my battleship before I kill it because fire damage. Mm hmm. Because, you know, he who Laffy should totally have won against Karishima. It was a he, eh? It was he, eh? I don't think I've seen an episode of One Piece. <laughs> Considering how long One Piece has been running and how long it seems to be wanting to continue for, they'll eventually end up having to cover that. Actually, I've never seen any One Piece. You're not what? missing much. I'm not going to bed again. 
every time I get out of a game, I make this decision and I choose the poor option. I find it worse when it's a thing without, like, <clears throat> when it's something like a paradox game and you just keep playing. But you keep first. Well, you know what? I figured out how to drive myself out of this room. The fact that it's insanely hot in here. <sighs> If I just don't open the window, eventually I'll get too hot and just leave. 